Oh no, you guys. I just pulled over on the side of the road. The Camaro is running really bad right now. I don't know what happened. I really hope that the Camaro didn't just let go right now. Let's see if it'll start right now. You guys, it feels like it's running on half the cylinders right now. This thing is idling so rough. Or just got a nasty cam in it overnight. <laughs> Either are options, but this isn't running good. Uh oh. It sounds like a fat nasty cam. Oh God. I don't know what to do. I really hope the Camaro didn't just let go on me. I was hoping to help this boat or at least a little while. Look how much this shakes. I think the best thing to do right now is head to the shop and check the plugs. Maybe do a compression test because this is actually my first drive on the car. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, for those of you who don't know, if someone's pulled over on the side of the road and there's two lanes and there's no one in the far lane, please just move over a lane. It's so dangerous already. I can literally see one of the coils arcing on the distributor right there. I'm gonna plug it in and see if that fixes it. Oh Jesus. That clearly didn't fix it. Oh, I think the motor just let go on the Camaro. You could see the plug wire arcing on the distributor. It was misfiring. The car ran drove fine today. When I picked up at a slight miss, I just pulled over because it had a bad miss. And it looked like that one of the plug wires popped off the distributor. It was arcing on it. You could see that. Plugged it back in. Did not help. I think I'm just gonna baby it to the shop. The Camaro's knocking. Oh my God. How does this happen? Why me? Why me? I wasn't even ripping it. Before we go any further, I would love to thank today's sponsor, Ipsos I Say. Ipsos is one of the largest research companies in the world and has been around since the 70s. And Ipsos I Say is the go-to community website dedicated to making sure your opinion is valued and makes a difference for societies, citizens, and brands. It's such a cool system. You create an account, let them know your interest, and then share your opinions through online research surveys, and in return, you earn points towards gift cards, cash transfers, charitable donations, and even merchandise. Take your part in research and answer some simple questions to earn gift cards and rewards. It's an easy side hustle, or possibly even a main hustle. We all have downtime at some part of the day. This is a great way to earn rewards or cash transfers anytime anywhere. They even have an app so you can take surveys from your phone. Ipsos I Say offers so many different gift cards to choose from, but my favorite is that they offer the option to donate to charities, including the Alive and Well Foundation which is the one I recently joined. But that's not all. Ipsos I Say also gives you the opportunity to try new products, participate in online discussion boards, and do research while shopping, all from the comfort of your phone or computer. The surveys are so quick and easy. So take part in research and answer some simple questions to earn some gift cards and rewards. Sign up now to influence the future. I've always wondered where you can do this, and I'm telling you right now where you can go. Click the link below Below to start earning rewards with Ipsos I say today. Now, let's get back to the video. <laughs> it's not my fault! <laughs> Alright. Let me try to kill this. I wasn't even ripping it. Now I don't believe you. <laughs> the look of disappointment from Sandy is so real right now. No disappointment. I mean, it was bound to happen anyways. It was just Chevrolet. Oh, please. I'm just surprised it happened as quickly as it did. All right, well, I'm here at the shop. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the plugs, do a compression test, and just see how this motor looks, see if it's salvageable, or if now we need to talk about a motor swap. It was kind of the plan down the line anyways, but I was hoping that the small block Chevy would last us a little longer than a first drive. We'll just put the Mustang engine in here, blower and all. <laughs> My goal more than anything was to find a 1969 Camaro with a clean body so we could modify everything else. We were gonna start with chassis, suspension, etc., cetera, um, and do the engine last, but you know, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Or maybe it's just the horsepower gods up there telling us we need more horsepower. The cool thing is, 
we can go get plugs right now from AutoZone because everyone's gonna have them. Mm -hmm. Once this cools down, we'll pull the plugs and take a look. You haven't bought a motor up in a while. Okay, this one. I was kind of getting disappointed in you, but now I'm proud. This one wasn't even my fault. I was barely getting on it. I was literally just driving it to enjoy it, and then it started knocking. Did you check the oil before you drove it after you bought it off someone? <laughs> Did we check the oil? Did we check the oil? <laughs> I was gonna change the plugs later. I don't remember. I mean, there's definitely oil because I can see it all over the engine. <laughs> but like, was it? Did it leave a spot in the driveway? No. It didn't leave any spots on the driveway? <laughs> that means it's out of oil, huh? It's probably out of oil. <laughs> it's probably out of oil. Something like this out of leak. Just a little, a little trans fluid, but no engine oil. Yeah, something like this out of leak. <laughs> that should have been the first red flag. Yeah. <laughs> it's not leaking anymore. Can't leak oil if you don't have any. Yeah, there's oil in it. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's see what this first plug looks like. Oh, she dirty. That's covered in oil. I think this is a blower plug. That's what it looks like, right? Yeah, they look really cold. They also look really old. And uh, there's oil on the threads. Well, I don't know if you're worried about that, but they look, it looks it really fat. Yeah. Really rich. Yeah. I was going to change these plugs, guys, before driving this car. <laughs> I really was going to. But this is the first one. We'll see what the others look like, and then we can test it. Probably all like that. Think so? Mm -hmm. And this one, this one was finger loose. That's nice. We love that. That one looks a little dry compared to the other ones that are soaking wet. It's not necessarily the best news, but if you want to take a look at them, they are all old. And this one looks like it was a dead cylinder. Sandy brings up a really good point that it might have been knocking all along, but we just never knew because this plug is actually the same plug that the plug wire and the distributor was kind of popping off on. You guys saw it sparking, it was on the side of the road. To Sandy's point, that might have been unplugged and that's a cylinder that's knocking. So you might not necessarily hear the knock if there's no load on that piston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen that before? Yes. Sometimes if you're trying to go after a rod knock, you might start unhooking plug wires because sometimes it'll go away. Oh, and you can figure out what cylinder's doing it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Wait a minute. What? Where's the end of that one? <gasps> this was the one that was loose. Oh, yeah. There's no... Uh... Oh, I didn't even notice that. Which one was that? Uh, the far one. Seven? Yeah, seven. Is it in there? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. No, it's not in there. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't even see that part. Comment below if you guys saw it before even I noticed it on camera. So I think it's safe to assume that two cylinders were dead. We can replace the plugs and we can do a compression test, but that's not necessarily gonna fix the knocking. Let's check the oil, see if there's any metal shavings in it and go from there. Oh, oops. Metal or bubbles? It's probably the water out of the bottle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I see a lot of metal in there. Yeah. All right. Rip Camaro, so the motor's toast. It's not chunky. I've seen worse. We could slap it back together and send it. I mean, it'll probably run forever. <laughs> I mean, it will. <laughs> it'll just make noise. That's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to be able to repurpose this, but I guess now that just means we gotta stroke it. What are we doing? Comment below. Let me know what you guys think we should do with this motor. We do have plans to build this, obviously, but I wasn't thinking of needing a whole new motor so soon. I don't believe the seller tried to screw us in any way. I think he might have just thought it was cammed. <laughs> yeah, this cam's so great. Hell yeah, I love these, <laughs> love these small block V8s. He was trying to push you to do burnouts in it before it left. He, <laughs> he was. was. <laughs> he was like, oh, you're going to do a burnout? No. Why? Uh, yeah, so he definitely didn't think it was going to let go. Then. No, no, no. He was still driving it. He had no issue with it. But maybe this wasn't the unicorn too good to be true build that I thought it was. We looked at a lot of junk Camaros, and they wanted so much more money for what I ended up paying for this. So I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. And we'll just build it back even stronger um, so Sophia can live to see another day and i do look forward to building this to have the previous owner's grandkids get a ride along in this and i also want him to be able to drive the car at some point as well all right rip camaro if anything's gonna save this motor it's gonna be motul it looks cooler this way but this is the wrong way to do it look look all right you guys comment below let me know what motor you would like to see in sophia and 
please subscribe if you don't already. This is going to be a really exciting build series with the Camaro that I am excited for. So, and we got some plans with the GT40 coming soon too. Alrighty crew, we out of here with love. Bye. <laughs> oh God. You guys are telling me this whole time in order to get a nasty cam sound, all I had to do was blow a motor. Let's be honest. How long have I left a motor stock for anyways?